and it's now time for Check Me Out, our weekly showcase of Nigerians achieving amazing things around the world. Ada Zenwa Adike has co-founded an NGO to address issues related to African women through programs designed to educate and empower. In addition, she's also working to find lasting solutions to infant and maternal mortality in Nigeria. Let's check her out. I'm a firm believer in doing unto others as you would have them do unto you. So justice, equality, kindness and fairness are very important to me. Hi, I'm Adezin Wadike, communications lead at Impact Hub Lagos and founder of Iron Foundation. Check me out. In primary school, I wanted to be an astronaut at some point. And then I wanted to be a neurosurgeon. I wanted to be a teacher. I wanted to be a nutritionist. I wanted to be so many different things. I went to a liberal arts college, which means that basically you can be undecided or not choose your specific field of study for the first year. And this was really good for me because it allowed me to delve into different things that I was interested in, from philosophy to history um, to science as well. I ended up getting a degree in economics from Calvin College in 2014, so it's all worked out. The good thing about going to Calvin was that those challenges that I had, they kind of forced me to look for solutions. So because the school wasn't as diverse, um, I ended up co-founding the African Students Association at my school. And now students from Nigeria and across Africa today um, have that group and have that place to call home away from home at Calvin. So I moved back home in 2014, did NYSC for a year from 2015 to 2016. And then in 2016, I founded Iron Foundation for Women, which is my non-profit organization. There are so many problems that women are facing in Nigeria, and we could not address all of them. Um, originally, I had thought that I would want to do something along the lines of economic empowerment for women. But I came home and I started to hear a lot of stories about women who had di died in childbirth. This was why we ended up coming up with the NF Project Sponsorship Program. We provide support for them in their local community clinic or community healthcare center to ensure that they get antenatal care and that they are registered for all the immunizations and shots that they may need for the child. Um, we cover delivery costs and then we also have um, bi-weekly check-ins with them via their local community healthcare worker or social worker. Since our inception, we have reached out to over a thousand people, including women and children. Um, about 450 plus of them have been mothers, and we've had um, about 200 babies that we have been able to reach out to through our various programs. Over the next couple of years, we look forward to doing even more than that and we want to expand our programs beyond the communities that we're currently in and go into different parts of Lagos and also potentially different parts of Nigeria. We're firm believers that, you know, change is not just from the government, um, but it's also about entrepreneurs who are empowered to create jobs to increase revenue and to improve the standard of living for themselves and for the people that they support. I'm Adeze Nwadike, communications lead at Impact Hub Lagos and founder of Irene Foundation. You've just checked me out. Okay, let's now take a quick reminder of our top story for today. Following the unrest in Lagos and some parts of Nigeria, we highlighted ways to keep our feelings and emotions in check to ensure optimum mental health. We want to hear your views. You can join the conversation right now on Twitter at Just Nigeria TV. And for more on any of our stories, do visit bbc.com forward slash Africa and channelstv.com. That's why we are wrapping up the program today. Thank you for staying with us. Until next time, I am Wale Fakile. Goodbye. <laughs>